So I'm at the Dover Transport Museum and this is really one of my favourite places to visit and I'm in the workshop because I'm thinking about power transmission. And here of course we're using belts and pulleys and overhead trains. Awesome! And of course there is always a huge selection of things that you can do to transmit power. Pulleys, belts, ropes, chains, fixed gears, just an enormous selection. But one of the things of course is once you put that in place, it stays in place. I was thinking about a way of transmitting power that would be flexible so you could move it through an angle and of course immediately you're thinking about things like spherical gears or semi-spherical gears. So I went to Tinkercad and drew up this. I will of course put this thing onto Thingiverse should anybody be interested in it and the link is in the description or you can just jump over to Thingiverse and check it out. Now I don't plan on doing a tutorial on how about how drew these because I've done them before. Spherical gears and hemispherical gears have their own video where there's a tutorial showing you how to draw them and the rest of it is basic primitives. I mean you're talking about cylinders and squares. To put it together we take an axle, the thick end, and it drives in there and it'll be a tight fit so drive it in there when you've driven it in there it slots into there that way around so that the gear is on the same side as the little step when we've done that this bit that goes on there and engages with that gear and this bit slides on both of them like that so when we move that that gear moves then these get whacked onto here and again will be a tight fit so to put the gears in, you take the gear, swivel it well around so that it will just slot in there like that. And when it's slotted in, there's a clip and the clip slides on the back to hold it in position. Right, when it's together, turn that and of course that one turns. And what's really cool about this is as you move it, of course, it continues to turn because it's a hemispherical gear. And here we're at 90 degrees. It works from 180 degrees where they're in line and then almost 180 degrees back. It's about there where it will actually be at its limit. If we put it straight on, then there's no way for it to engage. But that's the hemispherical gears. So this particular design I actually got from this patent that I found. And what you'll notice is that the actual gear teeth themselves get thinner as they move to the top. And so it takes a bit more design. But I did come across this patent as well, where the gear teeth are actually uniform in size. Now I didn't make that, I made it with the ones where it thins out. But it might be interesting to try it where the gear teeth are actually the same thickness as they move down the hemisphere. Now these have become much more important because mostly of robotics actually. What you're looking at of course is a joint. Here we've got something like a, an elbow or knee joint or a, a ball joint for your hip or your shoulder, something like that. So being able to move this around like that gives you a way of jointing different shafts together and that becomes very important in things like robotics. Anyway, I thought it was kind of interesting. I hope you did too. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.